Number 11. If you want to find one of the most fascinating aspects about humankind, you needn't search much further than the female breasts. That's right, we're looking at breasts for science. Unlike all of the other mammalian species, human breasts form during puberty, not pregnancy, and they still hang around after the nursing stage is over. Human females, although unique in many other ways, are also remarkable in the sense that they have permanent enlarged breasts. This is due to a higher fat content, which fills out the tissue and gives breasts their shape. From an evolutionary standpoint, no one knows why this has happened. <laughs> Not that we're complaining, but a definitive answer hasn't been found. Sexual selection seems to be among the most prominent theories, as permanent breasts would help females to attract mates. Other theories have proposed that they evolved either as an energy reserve or to allow for more mobility during breastfeeding. But it seems that for now, the female breast will remain a mystery. Number 10. For all other mammals except humans, the term boning is literal. Unlike other mammalian species, human males don't have a penis bone, otherwise known as a baculum. Chimpanzees, our nearest related species, do have them. Since most other primates have terrible game, mating happens infrequently. The baculum allows for longer copulation, increasing the male's chances of fathering offspring. Humans as a species practice intercourse a lot more frequently. Good work, team. And we have a tendency towards monogamy. I guess you can say that if evolution did have a bone to pick with human males, it was definitely the baculum. Number nine. This next one is the type of thing that gets grosser and grosser the more you think about it. Human beings are the only creature in nature who actively seek out the milk of other animals. This is utterly ridiculous, and we're also the only other members of the animal kingdom who drink milk into adulthood. This habit makes humans super weird. Seriously, the rest of the animals make fun of us. Most mammalian babies consume their mother's milk, and an enzyme called lactase helps them to digest it. The gene that activates this enzyme turns off after the waning period. Humans were similarly not meant to drink milk as adults. However, we became lactose persistent by breeding animals for their dairy products. The main carbohydrate in animal milk, which is broken down by lactase, is a type of sugar called lactose. The people who are lactose intolerant can't produce the enzyme necessary to break down that sugar. And if they have the dairy, they get super gassy. Number eight. Our other primate relatives might be better at hanging on branches and climbing trees, but if there's one thing that humans excel at, it's throwing. Coupled with endurance running and group hunting, throwing has made us the most effective predators on the planet. As soon as our ancestors figured out that throwing accurately yielded more food, it was pretty much game over for all other animals. Ranged throwing attacks developed from rocks and spears to hand grenades and tear gas canisters. The reason why we're so good at throwing is connected to the elastic energy that's stored in the muscles and the tendons of our shoulders. When energy is released, it propels an object at great speed. While chimpanzees can throw at a mere 20 miles an hour, top human athletes can exceed 100 miles an hour. So if the apes do rise up, we can count on throwing to overcome whatever monkey business they have in store. Either that, or let's try to convince them to settle the dispute over a game of baseball. Oh, didn't see you there. Hope you're enjoying the video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. That way you won't miss any of our newest videos. And you know what? It helps other people to find the channel. You're great. Number seven. Surely it's happened to you at one point or another that you were in a bathtub or pool for too long and your palms or feet or toes got all wrinkly. It's like your skin fast forwards to being an elderly person's. Well, don't go looking for that hip replacement just yet. This wrinkling effect is caused by water washing a type of oil called sebum off of your skin. Sebum moistens, lubricates, and protects human skin. However, if you stay submerged for too long, it washes off, and then the water is able to penetrate the outer layer of your skin. Why the wrinkles then? Scientists have recently found that it's due to a reaction in the nervous system. 
much like a treaded car tire. Wrinkly skin on the feet and the hands increases grip. It's theorized that it's a trait that was evolved by our ancestors that would facilitate food gathering in moist environments. Pop quiz, hotshot. <laughs> What makes humans rank as the best long distance runners in the animal kingdom? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and stay tuned till later on in the video to see if you're right. Number six. What has two thumbs and loves evolutionary gifts? This guy. While we're not the only creature in the animal kingdom with opposable thumbs, humans do make the most of this feature. The unique aspect about the human thumb is that we can bring it all the way across the hand to the pinky and to the ring finger. You jealous? <laughs> it's a range of motion referred to by anatomists as opposition and apposition. Not only does this allow for a stronger grip, but it also enables exceptional dexterity when it comes to manipulating tools or performing various activities. Number five. Let's talk about talking, and let's speak about speaking. The reason I'm able to make such an unnecessarily convoluted intro is thanks to the unique human voice box. The human larynx sits lower in humans than any other primate, and it's believed that it descended around 350,000 years ago. We also have a bone shaped like a horseshoe, which sits below our tongue. It's called the hyoid bone. It's super hard to say. This is like my fifth time trying to record this line. And oddly enough, it isn't attached to any other bones in the body. It's been described as the foundation of human speech, and it enables us to be the loquacious animals that we are. Oh, snap. I just said my favorite word of all time, loquacious. Loquacious means tending to talk a great deal. Good synonyms would be voluble and verbose. See if you can use loquacious in a sentence in the comment section below, and we'll feature the person with the most creative phrase in our next video. Number four. Let's put a smile on that face. Humans can say a lot of things with a smile. Our facial features, coupled with our incredibly complex emotional and mental process, allows for a smile to suggest any number of things. The general assumption, however, is that we reveal our pearly whites when we're happy. This is different from most other animal species, which bear their teeth as a warning. So while our smile may say, tell me more, theirs typically means, walk away now. Number three. Most of the canine-owning predators have no problem tearing through their victims. So it is quite odd that human beings, the planet's super predators, can go night-night at the sight of a little blood. Vasovagal syncope, which is absent in other animals, can occur when we see blood or we're in moments of extreme emotional distress. There's a sudden drop in heart rate and blood pressure. This reduces blood flow to the brain, which causes you to temporarily lose consciousness. Vasovagal syncope episodes are usually harmless and don't require treatment. There is, however, risk of injury, since you're basically shutting down and falling to the ground. It's answer time! So why are humans among the best long-distance runners in the animal kingdom? The short and sticky answer would be sweat. We don't excel as sprinters, but we're incredible marathoners, thanks to millions of sweat glands that enable us to cool off while running. Additionally, the muscles and tendons in our legs are really springy. In our running stride, they basically act like pogo sticks, allowing for the effective storing and conversion of kinetic energy. Number two. How's this for a thought-provoking segue? We discussed boneless members, and now we're moving on to erect postures. Unlike our other primate relatives, human beings have evolved to walk fully upright. That doesn't mean we should look down on other species, it just means that we have a different mode of locomotion. Our bipedal movement frees our upper limbs for tool use. Unfortunately, the modification in the human pelvis that allows for walking on two legs has also made childbirth unusually dangerous. As recently as a century ago, it was one of the leading causes of death in women. Number one. If there's one thing that the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz has taught us, it's that anything is possible if you only have a brain. And humans have by far the strongest brain power around. Like number two isn't even close. And I'm not talking about sheer size here. A sperm whale's brain weighs about 18 pounds, which is the heaviest in the animal kingdom. Human brains, on average, weigh about three times less. 
What does distinguish us from other creatures is the size of the cerebral cortex. It's what gives our brains that bizarre walnut-like appearance. Relative to the rest of the brain, the cerebral cortex is bigger in humans than in any other animal. It's responsible for many of our unique skills, such as complex language and problem solving. Hey gang, hope you loved the video. Would you rather have wings or gills? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and check back soon for a new video. Bye.